Hey guys, welcome back to another recipe of mine. So today I will be sharing with you a delicious pinga de pollo, which is chicken breast and chipotle sauce. So this is a chipotle sauce that we'll be using. Um, it does come in a little can and it has the adobo chipotle peppers. So there are the peppers there. And for this recipe, I will be um, cooking them in a crock pot. If you're doing it on a stove top, that's perfect as well. Just get a large um, pan and add about half ways of water and let it to a boil and then you add your chicken so with four main ingredients for this i am adding two tomatoes and one half of a white onion and i do have one garlic clove which is right here and for my chicken i'm going to add the three bay leaves and i do have the caldo de pollo which is a chicken flavor bouillon that's going to go for our chicken when we start cooking it in the slow cooker and i'm going to add this chicken seasoning and of course art are salt and black pepper very easy guys and delicious so basically i will be doing some tostadas out of this as well you could do it with tinga de pollo with shredded chicken just by itself like that with some rice or beans on the side but for me i'm gonna do it with um tostadas so with that being said guys let's get started thing i'm going to do is add my salt and black pepper i'm just gonna drizzle some salt on top it's gonna have to be a lot because i am gonna add my um, chicken seasoning and my bouillon but so the chicken could get the flavor in there really good. I'm adding salt and black pepper. Both sides. Okay, guys, I have my um, slow cooker um, ready to a boil. Obviously, it's not going to boil because it's in a slow cooker, but you can see um, the heat already inside there. So now I'm just going to add my chicken breast in there. And I'm going to add my three bay leaves, and this is to give it a really good flavor to your boil, which is your chicken. And I'm just going to add a piece of our white onion in there. So I'm going to cut only um, half of this piece. Just like this, and I'm just going to add it in there. And one garlic clove. Okay. And let's not forget our chicken bouillon flavor, and I'm just going to add a um, tablespoon. This is a tablespoon of the chicken bouillon, so I'm just going to add this in there. Okay, now we are just going to close this up. Let me just mix that in. Okay, now we're just going to close this up, and I'm going to come back to check on this in about three to four hours to see how that's going. Okay, guys, while that is cooking, I'm going to start to chop up my onion, and this is just going to be um, to saute our onion and tomatoes for our chicken once it starts, um, once it's finished, and we're going to shred our chicken. the one tomato and onion to our chicken and I'm going to add this one last tomato into our chipotle sauce so keep that one on the side About two and a half hours close to three hours and it's done once I poke it it just comes apart so that is perfect guys so now I'm just gonna uh, put this in a separate bowl and start to shred and the faster you shred it when it's hot it'll be better it'll be faster and easier so look how tender this chicken came out it's like right falling apart <laughs> there's the chicken So look how easy it is to come apart guys um you can use two forks or whichever method you want to do i know in one of my other um, videos i used the blend like the hand mixer i was gonna say blender hand mixer and okay, that's a this good is method. how i shredded my chicken it's ready so now i'm just gonna set this aside because i'm gonna start showing you how to do your chipotle sauce okay guys i'm gonna add my tomato and i cut them in pieces okay and then we're going to add our chipotle with the sauce I'm going to add some salt and black pepper and 
And I'm going to add the onion that I have in my, um, the chicken caldito, which is this one right here. I'll show you right now. I am going to use our, um, leftover of the chicken caldo, which is the chicken broth. That's going to give it a really good flavor. And I added the onion from there and our garlic as well. Now I'm going to add a little bit of the chicken broth from our caldo. Okay, so I'm just going to add about two scoops of these. And we're going to put here is our chipotle sauce ready. So now we're going to saute our onion and tomato. Okay, so I'm just going to drizzle some oil in there just a little bit. So we're just going to let the oil kind of um, heat up for a bit um, so I can add our onion and tomato. Okay, now we're going to add our tomato and onion. So we are going to saute this for about a minute. Okay, now that I saute this for a minute, I'm going to add our chipotle sauce. I do want to um, cook this chipotle sauce. When it starts to kind of like simmer, bubble up, I'm going to add our chicken. Just mix it in there. And if you do want it a little bit more spicier, you can always add um, two of the chipotle sauce cans. But for me, one is fine. So we're just going to give this a few minutes, like a minute, to simmer in a little bit to add our chicken. It smells good, guys. And I hope you guys are enjoying my recipe. If you are, please give this video a like. And if you're not subscribed, please click on that subscribe button and put your bell notification so you won't miss a recipe of mine. Okay, guys, since it's already simmering in and the bubbles are bubbling up, that means it's ready for my chicken to be added. But like I mentioned, I'm going to add a little bit more of the chicken bouillon just to give it a more flavor to it. Stir it. Now I'm just going to add my chicken. My chicken. So we're just going to mix it together. I'm just going to cover this up, put on a medium high heat because I do want our chicken to um, cook in with our sauce to get all those flavors. Okay. Let me just cover it up. And give it for about maybe um, three to five minutes. I left it in for about three minutes, covered it up, and now, but look how delicious this is looking. So basically, this is done. Very easy to do. It's just when you cook your chicken, it is time consuming because they're chicken breasts and they take a little longer, but it's all worth it, guys. So, this is a chicken tinga, pollo de tinga, and I will be serving this in tostadas. But here's your recipe, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Like always, like, subscribe, comment, and share. I would really appreciate it. And as I keep seeing subscribers coming through, thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Like I always say, it makes my day. Um, so yeah, guys, keep subscribing and liking, supporting, so YouTube can um, put out my videos out there more. And I really appreciate it, guys. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you.